hello, welcome to Pep Talks. Wanted. Wanted. Have you ever seen one of those wanted signs? Maybe from the police searching for somebody with a reward? Have you ever been on a wanted sign? But it, that's not necessarily always a bad thing, you know, because we also see adverts where wanted sales girls or wanted new hires, whatever it is. But today I want to tell you one of the most wanted things in the world. Intrapreneurs. Intrapreneurs. Now this is a thought I shared with some 20 or so staff of Perry Cubs Library Services, which is a which is a social enterprise that my wife and I began a couple of years ago now encompassing 2,000 children from 200 schools uh, across Ghana. And guess what? Scaling up maybe 10 times by the end of this year. But the point is this. Entrepreneurs start new businesses. In fact, there are different definitions of an, who an entrepreneur is. And you can check my blog for a more expanded definition. But basically, an entrepreneur is someone who innovatively solves problems for profit, right? And an entrepreneur sees problems as opportunities, works to get new ideas, new products, new services, and makes money for it. Of course, an entrepreneur takes risk, and so it's rewarded. The higher the risk, the higher the returns. That's how it goes. But I'm talking about an intrapreneur because this is an employee, and so it's not the business owner, but it's an employee who thinks like an entrepreneur, who thinks like a business owner, who thinks innovation, who thinks creativity. So, of course, I wish every one of us will be an entrepreneur in the sense that there are so many problems in society, we need so many solutions. And besides, even if you have one job or the other, I really believe in multiple streams of income. So I say that separate your profession from your business. So there's no reason why a lawyer cannot own a taxi business, you know, or a government employee cannot own a hotel. You know, multiple streams of income separate your profession from your business. So I wish we would all be entrepreneurs in one way or the other. But entrepreneurship is not a job. It's not even a career. Entrepreneurship is a mindset. A mindset of taking risk to innovatively solve, innovatively solve problems. And this is what I'm encouraging employees to become by the word intrapreneur. And, and way back in 1974, there was an interesting story about Art Fry. You know the post-it notes? Ah, like these ones. That's right post-it notes. That's right. You know how they came about? Because an engineer at 3M, the company 3M, heard another engineer share this thing he had created, this adhesive that could that could make things stay and yet will not attach to the things forever, you know, or damage the thing when you take it off. And there had not been, been there had not been any practical use found for the, the, that thing yet until Art Fry. And this is way back in 1974, who was a chorister, realized that all the pieces of paper he had put in his hymn book so that he could find the hymns that he wanted easily. Guess what? All the papers were, you know, falling off, falling out, etc. And so he thought, oh my goodness, if we could get this adhesive, this other, you know, engineer called Silver had, had, had created and, and put it on paper, it could make things stick on paper. And guess what? Oh, wow. You can easily take them off as well. That is the origin of post-it notes. That is the origin of post-it notes. And 3M has made millions of dollars, billions of dollars since the 70s because of this product, because of an intrapreneur. All right, because guess what? Art Fry was not the owner of the company, but made such a huge difference. Now, I say if you are an intrapreneur, you bring your business owners the best ROI. Of course, ROI is return on investment, but I'm using ROI in terms of these as an acronym. An entrepreneur is responsible. Number two is risk taking. So that's the R. O takes ownership, and I is innovative. So responsible, risk taking, ownership, innovative. 
So are you an entrepreneur? Do you bring the best return on investment for your business owners? And when you're an entrepreneur, you really are doing it for yourself because you gain this mindset of solving problems and you're able to solve even problems in your own life, not just at your workplace. You do it for yourself because guess what? One day you might start your own business and have the benefit of an entrepreneur's mindset. Guess what? You do it for yourself because what goes around comes around. Somebody else will do it for you in your business as an entrepreneur when you've done it for others. Above all, I know many of you who watch me are people of faith, especially of the Christian faith. Take ownership because this is your father's world. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for people. This is my father's world. And so I live and work in it, committed, not just involved, committed as an intrapreneur. Take ownership because this is your father's business. Music